Hey guys, so today we are going to be using the Figma NCP server with cursor to take some design changes that we've received in Figma and then implement those in our actual API. Here's our Figma file. This is a form for listing a property that someone would want to sell. And in this form, we have a section for parking. You would want to sell your property and you would want to list all the parking spots that you have available for the property. So that's what's changed is the actual parking section here. So this is quite complex. It's going to be, I think, quite difficult for the NCP server to be able to handle all of this, at least in a one shot. I don't think that's going to be possible, to be honest. But I think to start, yeah, we're going to just try it out. We have our property parking here and you can see these are all the existing fields that we have. So a lot of changes have to be made in this file. And we have another file for the input. This is like for the web API, it's a Swagger API. And then here's a command which handles updating the actual property and all the parking spots. So let's go to our chat. So we're gonna add all the relevant files, give it as much context as we can. I have my prompt here. We have received some design changes in Figma for the property parking section. Let's give it multiple frames. Yeah, so I'm not sure the best way to approach this when you have just many different frames. Like here, this is when they have one parking all available and then these inputs become available basically that they have to fill out and then here's got two parking spots so maybe i'll give it this one as well because it showcases like what it looks like if there's two parking stalls you could probably infer oh one parking stall would mean there's only the first stall available but i'm really not sure let's give it that one and then yeah these are the different parking types it seems which i can probably just tell it all the different parking types and then this one would probably be relevant where you can have right multiple parking spots so you click add additional parking and then yeah there's like a list of parking but i think we already have a list of parking spots like our property already can have a multiple parking spots so that's not like a new change and let's give it this one okay so let's see if we can handle that let's checking all the frames so all different three and let's see what it's saying the parking section now needs to support multiple parking spots with detailed information each parking spot needs to have parking type single tandem, number of parking stalls, interior, exterior location, parking location for each stall, stall size, assigned stall number, recharging capability, car lift capability. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I was able to extract the actual inputs, the location, the interior. Okay, so it's changing that parking location type. So it's adding that new property, parking location, and number of stalls, adding a list of number of stalls, and then adding a new entity, our parking stalls, right? The property parking ID, that's the foreign key, the stall size, assigned stall number, has the charging, has car lift. So here's the summary of the changes. So in our Swagger API, you can see the new fields and the list of stalls has been added. So that seems pretty solid. And now we can go test it out and see if it actually works. So I'm using Postman to do these tests. So we're gonna go create a new property now let's see if this works. So yeah, this one is just one with one parking spot and two stalls. So it returns our property. And yeah, we can see it seems like it kind of worked. Yeah, interior level, number of stalls, and here's the stalls. 